Dixie Garage. So we're back here, Roy City. We're gonna be working on the Boulevard C50, uh, trying to wrap things up. I was gonna do the front end today, do the headlight bucket, uh, paint the last bit of black. You know, got there's some windshield mounts up there I wanted to take off, uh, but it's really windy as you can probably see my tarp going crazy right now. And it's chilly and misty. It was supposed to be like 60 today, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'll probably just work on reassembly. Uh, get as much put back together that we painted as I can. And uh, maybe then I'll prep the headlight bucket or something, you know. Uh, that's going to pretty much be the game plan for today's video. So, yeah. So my aunt and uncle, who recently started watching all my videos, they uh, decided to get me this mount for my phone. So now I got the tripod and this. I like this one because I'll be able to, like, these bend. So I can just hook it around spots and get a straight overhead view while I'm working. So that's pretty cool right there. The other one, it kind of, you know, I can set it up high and it'll look over my shoulder, but this one can actually get hands on. So that's awesome to have that. Um, yeah, let's get to the reassembly. I got a Dixie sticker for the air cleaner. So to clean a K&M filter, you just, you got the cleaner kit and then it comes with the, the recharge oil that goes on there. You just spray it with that and you let it soak. And then I like to stick it in a bucket of Dawn dish soap and just kind of let it soak for a couple hours, get all that cleaned out. Yeah, I'd say that filter needed to be cleaned. I got it over here, so uh, letting it dry out now. Once it dries out, then we can spray the oil on it. For now, I'm going to get back to reassembling the bike here. Uh, I'm trying to time lapse it because this is just really slow, really boring process. Uh, see, I got the side cover. So we got the first full painted piece back on there. Um, and that lower side cover, I forgot to do that before the exhaust. But I got new hardware for the exhaust bolts anyways because uh, they were pretty much too long. It wasn't pressing the exhaust quite as hard as it needs to. So, got the new hardware for that. And, uh, yeah. About to also take the baffles out. These things, uh, real simple. You have a little bolt right there. Looks like, I don't know, a 10 millimeter. Take that out. Baffles come right there with it. And so, gonna do that. But yeah, I mean, I know it's mostly a time-lapse video, but it's literally just hours of me just spinning a screw or whatever it is, you know, little stuff. Um, but yeah, the first painted piece back on, so. So like all of us who have projects, he can't stop spending money on it. So, uh, he's right there, by the way, but he don't want to be on camera. But uh, yeah, we got a full LED system. It was just going to be tank strips like what was on there, but it looks like we're going to do all the way back. So, haven't actually used one of these, so we'll do a video on how to do these. All right, got the baffles pulled out so he can piss the whole world off. And uh, go ahead and get that put back on now. Got the new hardware. So shiny. starting to look like something on, with that fender on there now everything's coming together about to do the about to go ahead and do the lights today all right so all this right here is pretty self-explanatory for the lights 
everything over here is gonna be, you really just need the power and ground unless you're gonna run the blinkers and the brake light off of that too. But we're not gonna do that. Just gonna put some under the tank and the fender, maybe up front, I think. Now that the air filter's dry, just use the oil that goes on it. It's kind of windy out here. So. Make sure you get all of that stuff. Cool. Let that dry for a little bit and we'll put it in the bucket. Everybody always thinks mine's an oily. I'm not going to talk shit to you, John. I don't fucking ride. Everybody's got their preferences. Ain't got nothing to get. Yep. Everybody's got their preferences. The first bike was the Yamaha V-Star. I love these cameras. I've had several of them. I thought it was a great bike until I got up to 80 mile an hour and I'm pegged out top speed. What was it, 60? Yep. Oh, okay. So, I was like, damn, the fucking 1100 will still do like 105, you know? That ruined it for me. So, I'm like, I got to step up into the big boy section. Some of this rust out, so it's gonna keep spreading. Put some rust oil on there. It's Tuesday morning. I just got a call from a customer saying I got to go diagnose her Harley. It won't start. Well. Uh, They've been sitting for, you know, since since riding season last year. Could probably just be the car. A lot of the times when that's the case, it just needs fresh gas. Um, you know, fresh gas and some starter fluid, and it'll kind of blow the old shit out pretty quick. But uh, go check that out. Hopefully, I'll be back in time to do some more filming today for the uh, Boulevard C50. You know. Depending if these are the kind of customers who are going to just hover over my shoulders or if they're going to actually sit back and let me work, I'll, uh, I might do some filming on this Harley. So right now it ain't even sparking. Battery's dead. I think the fuel pack went bad. That's my guess. So I'm pretty sure because on my bike, on my Yamaha, Whenever my uh, power commander went bad, the light didn't come on. And uh, the guy said that the green light's supposed to be on, so pretty sure that's the problem right there is that the fuel pack went bad and it's permanently on there, I think. Yeah. So, just left from looking at that guy's Sportster. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure it needs the, uh, the fuel pack because the light's not coming on on the programmer. Um, and those do everything, you know. I was gonna test it for fire, but then whenever I noticed that light wasn't on, 
what happened, somebody had ran some like aftermarket LEDs, kind of like what we're doing on the, on the boulevard. And I guess they ran it straight off of the harness or whatever. And he said that a wire went hanging and then it just got ripped off while he was riding and the bike died. And so I couldn't find where they originally tied it into, um, but there was an electrical tape spot on the on the harness off of the power pack. And so I'm pretty sure that's what happened is they like piggybacked it off of that, off of a power line. And then I found the ground. And um, so yeah, yeah, that killed the bike. And then I guess that shorted out his programmer. And those things are not cheap at all. Uh, I told him I could install it, but he needs somebody that actually knows how to tune them. I, I don't know how to tune them, you know. So there could be a video on the install of that, but out of there as far as me programming the bike. And I told him, I told him what to expect as far as that goes. So uh, yeah, yeah. Let me see. It's kind of it's like three o'clock. See if I can get something done on the boulevard. I'm about 35 miles from Roy City, so we'll see. back late so uh probably gonna go ahead and wrap the video up with that one but as you see c50's coming along great just put the tank on it uh i haven't plugged everything in yet and all that but it'd be easier to buff on the bike you know still got to be cut and buff uh at least the top side of everything needs that anyways uh these other parts like go up at the at the neck by the triple tree and stuff like that this one for the back of the frame you know, they're factory black. They don't look all that good. They're gonna look extra dull alongside that bike. So we'll probably polish them up. And if we can't, probably end up painting them because he does want this to be a show bike. So, but other than that, uh, we got all the lights ran. Not gonna stick them because the weather's cold, a lot of humidity. We want the 3M tape to be able to, to adhere to its surface. So you don't want to do that on a cold, humid day. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a walk around on the bike. And then the next video, probably going to still be on this one. But uh, next week, I just got a notification from eBay that my single car for the Virago 1100 is supposed to be here on Monday. So there will probably be a video about doing a single car conversion on a Virago 1100. Um, and then, yeah, we got to finish the front end of this bike. I got to paint the headlight bucket. Got that prepped. You gotta do the dash. He decided he wants to do the gloss black on the dash. And uh yeah, that's it, man. This bike's almost done. I mean, it's pretty sweet. He seems to think he's gonna get me in the shows, but he ain't gonna get me in the shows, man. But uh yeah, I'll give y'all a walk around to the bike. Yeah, as you can see, man, it looks extra nice. Left little bits of chrome. I like to have little bits, so you know there's gonna be, the grips are gonna stay chrome. The uh, gas cap will stay chrome. The valve covers, we left those chrome. I just feel like they add that little touch to the engine that needs to be there, you know? You got some gloss, you got some flat, you got some metallic black, but everything has some contrast to it. It shows depth and layers, and to me that looks great. Um, but yeah, the bikes, it's looking awesome. So all that's out of place right now is the front end. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I'm sorry. It's not an extremely detailed video. Some are better than others. I didn't have a lot to work with this time and I had to go check out that customer's job. I try not to go more than, you know, three or four days without getting y'all video up. So, um, that's going to be it, but as you can see, it's coming along great. We're making a lot of progress. I, uh, If I get that Sportster job, you know, if he doesn't try and DIY it, then I'll, uh, I'll upload a video on that one. But this one's just about done, and after that, we'll probably be doing that video on the Virago. It's got to get 
totally changed up. So I appreciate y'all watching. And uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends, you know. And uh, any comments, constructive criticism, greatly appreciated. Thank y'all. Have a good one.